Well, hello and happy Friday to you guys. It is a crazy day here at House of Valentina <laughs> and we were styling up this area for Instagram actually. We've been having a lot of fun doing the reels over there. Oh, so much fun. And we were busy styling this area up and I was like, why don't we just show our YouTube family what we're doing <laughs> in the living room because we've actually been styling up the whole entire room. Yeah, like over these last few reels. Mm -hmm. And having a lot of fun. So we thought we'd give you a full tour of the family room, which I guess this is how we're gonna style it up for summer. It looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> looks like so, it just happened. So we have a really busy day actually ahead of us. And this was not part of the plan. So no, this is we are just extra. gonna take a quick couple minutes and give you a, a quick tour of what we brought in. At, we've been getting so many hauls. Yes. Oh my gosh. A good stop. And I love to test ideas out in my own home and some of these are gonna be going to big projects. We're gonna be meeting with Ty Pennington next week for his big project and the penthouse we're gonna be styling up. Oh, so yeah, I can't wait. lots of stuff coming in, lots of stuff going on. And yeah, we just thought it'd be really fun to give you a tour and we have to make some dinner tonight. So we might share with you what we're gonna have for dinner. And of course, uh, share with you what we hope to get done over the weekend. So yeah. it's gonna be a great Friday with B. We hope that you'll give the video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe because we've got a lot to share with you. Yeah. So. Jack has already run off to go turn the air conditioning on because apparently he is hot. So I'm gonna force myself to set my coffee cup down for just a second, but I wanted to share this little area with you. It's changed a lot and one of, one of the things that you guys ask most often is about these cabinets, which are actually from Ikea. They're not my favorite. They're a little bit wonky, but we have them loaded with stuff. So we are testing the boundaries of any piece of furniture in our house. I have started with a base of some really beautiful, really, really oversized pieces. The room here is really, really tall. So I wanted to get something really big in here to really add some height. So these are two that I have done myself and I just kind of throw paint at them. To get that drip effect, you just, Put a lot of paint at the top and then just tip the canvas up and let it dry. I always put like a trash bag or some plastic underneath it and just let it do its thing. So I love those. And then in order to get some even more height, we have this humongous branch. And what that is doing, first of all, it's weighted down in the vase. There's two vases and they're weighted down. And I think I'm gonna get some floral foam that I can actually put down in the bottom of these vases to really make it sturdy. It's sturdy. It's kind of actually wrapped around the light just a little bit, but I want it to be just a little more stable when the kids are actually home <laughs> and the candles are lit. So I think I'll maybe get some of that foam so that it can just sit down there better. But anyways, having something really, really big just makes the whole room just seem really, really tall and it draws the eye up. And of course, I love my vase that I found at Home Goods. I need another one of these so desperately. If you see one at Home Goods, grab it for me, okay? I want it. Then I got these, this gorgeous doble off of Amazon. Can you believe that? I've been having so much fun with my Amazon lives. Last week we showed you the kitchen fully decorated and decked out in all Amazon finds and we're still doing our Amazon events on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So. Look down below, I always have a link for it if you're interested in joining those events or watching them afterwards. You can always watch them when they're, they're recorded and kept on there. So I've also got the Sublime Patchouli candle here. And the reason I have this one here is that it has a little bit of the taupe color. And I also like the fragrance. It smells really, really good. That's from H&M Home. And then back here, you can see how I'm tying in some of that taupe. It's Alaya, which is a fashion brand, which you guys know I love fashion books. And I've also got the art of outdoor living. And you can see how I'm choosing these taupe colors to really warm up the space. Of course, I have AD at 100 because <laughs> I always have this book out. I love it. I'm gonna turn this off for just a minute so you can see the color a little bit better. There we go. Now you can really see it. I want you guys to be able to see the color of the lamp that we found at Ikea in our last big haul. Did you guys enjoy watching that Ikea video? We had so much fun. Every time I think about it, I'm like, yeah, that was so fun. But I love the lamp. You can see we're already putting it to use. And I just love this taupe color. It's a, everyone's been asking, what is taupe? 
soap. It's like a, almost like a mousy brownish gray kind of color. And I just love, I love it mixed with beige. So I loved this sculptural candle holder. I got that from West Elm. It's one of the new in pieces and I'm freaking out over it. I just think it looks amazing. So clearly I've been having some fun over here, but uh, let's go check out this way because I've completely restyled up the coffee table and the fireplace as well. Over here on the fireplace, I still have my sculptural candle holder. This is from a Danish brand called Menu. I've chatted about them quite a bit. I just love their pieces. And then I have the Manolo Blahnik book because I love that linen texture that this book has. I love this piece, this is the one that I got at the antique store and it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's real or not. It looks like it's probably fake. Maybe, it's, I can't find something as similar, but I, I'll try to link to something on Etsy for you guys. But then I also have the great big West Elm vase sitting up here. Some more of that same uh, maple, I think we were calling it oak <laughs> in one of the videos and you guys were like, yeah, no, stop saying that. <laughs> I think it's maple. But yeah, other than that, we still have the big tree still here, which is a live big tree. I love having the gondola chair here. We've got the uh, spheres on the floor. I know this corner is a little bit dark, but I actually ordered a new mirror for here that was actually taller. I had an Ikea one here for a few weeks and I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought one from West Elm. So it looks the same, but it's actually different. It's actually a little bit bigger. Before we get too far in the tour, I wanted to take just a minute and thank our video sponsor, who has also just sent me a replenishment of one of my favorite things. And I'm gonna take you back through here into my bedroom and show you what I've just gotten. Come on. Function of Beauty. It, it truly is an amazing, amazing company. They have customizable beauty products that are absolutely amazing. I love the shampoo and conditioner. I've been using it for quite some time. I love starting off with the hair quiz because it'll ask you what kind of natural hair do you have? What's your hair structure? How is your moisture in your scalp? They'll also ask you to select five of your hair goals. So for me right now, I've been wanting to strengthen, have color protection, thermal protection, because of course I really love to curl my hair a lot. Also nourish the roots. And also for me, I think that another one that I'm really focused on is moisture and really making sure that my hair is in good shape. You also get to choose a fragrance. So you can go with anything from Go Coco, Takes Two to Mango, Strike a Rose. I personally usually go fragrance free and the reason why is because I have some sensitivities and that is what makes this product so genius because you can truly customize it not only to your hair needs, your scalp needs, but also your fragrance. It's cruelty free, it's paraben free. Whatever it is that you're struggling with your hair, you can customize your products, you can customize the color, and it even comes with your name on the bottle. I was like, oh, I went with the white, so you can't see it as well. Yeah, I don't know if you can even see it, but it does say Valentina. Since using Function of Beauty, I've noticed that my hair is healthier, it's stronger, my color is lasting, and I love the results. Now it's even easier to try Function of Beauty's top rated hair duo. You can get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set when you click my link. I'd also recommend becoming a member to get exclusive perks like free shipping and early access to new products. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for being our video sponsor. And uh, now shall we get back to that uh, tour of that room? All right, let's go. The house isn't always perfectly staged. And I think that sometimes, you know, there can be a lot of pressure when you see everything styled so perfectly online. I think it's just, we love to style it up and we do it pretty often in our house, but sometimes it's okay, you know, to not have everything perfect. I love, I still love my artwork that I got. That's West Elm and it's one that I made myself. The authentic home is still here. The Ikea lamp, the little, uh, the, the little, uh, they look like torture devices, but they're actually for the candles. <laughs> it's a little tray that's still sitting here and it's looking a little dusty. Uh, anybody else with a dog? I feel like it just comes immediately right back. So uh, yeah, the one thing also, I still love the dresser being here. It's actually ended up being a really good thing, a really good spot. But I mentioned in the other video about how we had pretty much killed our fig tree. Well, we've got it in a better situation. We've been watering it less, took up all the dead leaves, and it's already got new growth. So that just goes to show that these fig trees are actually very durable if they can survive us. So yeah, hopefully that'll, <laughs> I say just try it. They really do need the most 
important thing I would say is good drainage and a lot of sun. Console table from Ikea is still here and sadly they're sold out right now. I really actually wanted to get another one and I can't get any more right now, but I do still have the incredible lamp from CB2 that's still here. And I hope that you, well, I think you guys will appreciate this. I think you can't quite see it, but my nephew, who just went off to do the college program down at Disney. While he was here, he was like, oh look, it looks like a little game piece. And so Jack pulled this thing out and he's like, it, like this? And it, I don't even know what game that's actually from, but I don't think it was sorry. I don't remember what it was, but it had like a little matching piece. <laughs> and so my nephew was like, I'm gonna put it right here like this. And he stuck it down and uh, he's like, I'm sure you'll move it as soon as I leave. And I'm like, no, actually that's gonna stay because every time I see it, I'm gonna think of you. And so I've been thinking of him all the time. And now our youngest loves the fact that there's a baby lamp <laughs> sitting there. So uh, I also still have the Spirituelle. This is our favorite fragrance by, it sounds like Madeleine. It looks like Mad Et Len but the little lava rocks are amazing and this room is so fragrant right now because I have a couple candles going. I recently got this book. I shared this in the last Friday with V. This is The Timeless Living and it is gorgeous and I love having it now open and I'm really enjoying this book. It was totally a great find for my me time and I love it. So yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, let me sit you down by the coffee table so I can show you what I've been doing over there. One of the most incredible finds I think ever, and I got, this is why I was like, I gotta show you everything that's come in because I haven't shown you everything. I showed you the big one of these when I showed you the kitchen. This is actually the smaller one. If you can believe it, this is from Amazon and it's one of their, like it's a dough bowl and it's actually, it is actually handmade. Look at the texture on this. Is that not one of the most absolutely incredible things that you've ever seen in your entire life? I absolutely adore it. Then I have some books on here which are, you know, I think sometimes I don't always share, you know, all the parts of myself on the internet and there's certain pieces of myself that I always feel a little bit compelled to hide because maybe it's a little bit controversial, but this Merit Alice uh, Marcus Pigott book is, I, I really can't show you the inside of the pages because it would not be YouTube appropriate, but it's artistic and it's uh, fashion editorials and there are, it's mostly news. And the architecture of Chanel by Peter Marino is also sitting here and this book is just, you know what, I feel less like, I think everyone will love this. This one I know is very particular to those who have an appreciation for those kinds of things, but this Chanel book is just stunning. It really is so beautiful. It's got all the architecture of the different stores and it is amazing. And I really, really enjoyed it. And one of the things that I like to do when we travel is go to the different Chanel stores, not because, okay, of course I like to shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually only shopping for like makeup, <laughs> just more my price range for Chanel. But I just think that their stores are, people don't realize that, that they're designed by some of the best architects in the entire world. And so I love to go to those shops for those reasons, Valentino, Chanel, Dior, all of them are some of the best architects in the world and you get to appreciate their work and I love it. So. Everybody wants to know where this little oh zebra gosh, box yes. came from. This is why I tell you guys if I ever post anything, like especially from H&M, just run and get it right away because they sell out and then that's it, it's gone. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we showed you, remember when we came back from our beach trip? We got these sculptural pieces on that beach trip and I just love them. I love these pieces. I think they add so much to the table, they're handmade, they're, they're just so stunning and yeah, I just, I love the shape of them and they are meant to be used as a vase or as a pitcher, but I just think they're so beautiful just like this. They're stunning, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Then the other things that we have are the little black chain, which I have been sharing with you guys. I got these off of Amazon. They're nothing too fancy. They're actually super affordable, but they look they really look cool, so cool sitting yeah. out. And so I love them on the coffee table. I'd probably use them in like 
at least six places in that I was going to say, every house we go to, I think we're putting these in. I've already, some ordered, I've already ordered two more sets. I love them that much. I love it. Yeah, and they're off of Amazon, so they're super affordable. And then, uh, yeah. I'm just enjoying that. That smells so good. We have been enjoying our candle haul. This is the Spirituel, but we've been enjoying the other fragrances as well oh by, gosh. again, the Madeleine brand. It's our favorite. It's yeah, the most amazing candles I've ever smelled. It is 100% luxury priced. Not even gonna pretend it's anything otherwise. No, yeah. But this is some, one of those things that we feel like we just love treating ourselves it's to. It's worth the splurge. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's about it in here. Awesome. Now that I've been styling on my console table over here, I am so pumped about my art of outdoor living. Sometimes I think we just tuck things away and we kind of forget about them. It was sitting over on the console table. It's not like I couldn't see it, but now I'm just obsessed with the art of outdoor living again. And hi. Hey. Look like you have some fun treats. I, I was do. showing them this book. This is definitely going to be oh. my weekend me time. I really want to sit with this and get inspired. We actually, I think we maybe mentioned this before, we had a gardener come over and <laughs> someone that's going to be helping us with our back garden. So I'm really wanting to make sure I nail down my style and what we're going to be doing. And yeah, so I'm definitely going to be uh, doing this in my me time. If you guys are new to our Friday vlogs, we love to be able to post our favorite weekend tasks. Some of the things that we're doing, some of the things that we've been working on in our own house, and we just share our list with you guys. And it's a free download if you're interested in it. I will leave a link for that down below in the show notes because you can just go right to it, click on the link and get the free PDF. It's clickable if there's something in it yeah, that's shoppable. So, cool. so the book is there, then I always leave a link inside the PDF so that way you can find everything in it. So yeah, then um, what did you bring? I brought you some Daily Harvest. <laughs> well, this is so absolutely amazing what is this these are espresso tahini oh i'm here let me show you guys yeah oh my gosh <laughs> espresso tahini dough bites yeah i don't remember what they called them they're just called bites okay they're just called bites yeah. wow that yeah. looks amazing and i'm gonna definitely take my coffee because I need some caffeine. <laughs> I know, I do too. I, don't, I sat mine somewhere and I don't know where it is now. We started this day like with a punch. Yes, I, we did. I got up, I worked out, and I haven't sat down since. So anyways, I was sharing with them some of our weekend task lists. Oh, we have some fun things for this weekend. We do. So um, what are the other things? Oh, I think personally like wearing a nice like dress is, always makes me feel so good. And you've got a new shirt on too. I've got a few new shirts. I've got this one and then there's a few more that you ordered. I know. And there's something wait. about like pulling something out and really just wearing something that just makes you feel extra special. For me, it's a beautiful dress. For you, it's these silk <sighs> Love these polos. shirts. They're your absolute favorite. I buy them from H&M from him. So yeah. I know. They're really affordable, but he loves them. So I think wearing something that you really oh, enjoy gosh, yeah. just makes the weekend just feel extra special. So while you're wearing that great outfit, listen some great music. That's one of the things I've put down. I was like, we should listen to some great music it's this so weekend. funny because I'm like, I'm just, I think what it is is I wish so often that we could have everybody over. I know. Because if you guys could sit in the room with us right now, then you would realize that the candles are lit, it smells really good, the, the flowers are fresh, and there's just something about the house and the way that it feels. And when, that's why yeah. he's saying that about the music because when we are videoing, there's always like music playing and you have some great Spotify lists. Actually, Actually you great. have. It's Haley. Haley has made her several great playlists. Haley's our daughter. Amazing. Yeah, and she has made me some incredible playlists and I share them with you guys all the time. And um, yeah, I'll share a link for you in the PDF as well. But yeah, you can follow us on Spotify and see what we're listening yeah. to. Uh, the other things that I think you should definitely do is light a candle in your house. We have some really amazing fragrance ones that we really love, but even just the tapers, it just adds so much ambiance to your yes. space. So clip some greenery, light some candles, turn some music on, wear something that makes you feel great. And the one thing that we're gonna be working on ourselves is that we wanna make a new recipe that we haven't tried before. That's something yes. we oh. always try to do on a Friday night or over the weekend. I so love that. we're gonna be sharing our favorite recipe that we're trying out. Hopefully it'll go well, but we're gonna try I out some so. new recipes with you guys today as well. But um, yeah, we just wanted to make sure we get to your Friday list and I'm gonna get this man a grocery list and I will see you guys in just a second after I eat one of these. I know, I'm dying to try these now. These look so good. Okay, fika time. <laughs> <laughs> and now time for our, our meal planning. No, you don't eat. You go get a piece of paper on your phone so I can okay. make your list. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll let you eat one and then okay, you get the list. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, try it out. 
<laughs> They're cold. <laughs> They're really cold. Mm. All right, well, <laughs> I've got a sweater on now because my husband likes to run the air conditioning so low in the house, but uh, maybe things will get heated back up in just a minute. Hi. Hey, are you talking about me? Yeah. I'm wearing short sleeves. <laughs> yeah. She's wearing a sweater. Yeah, you're wearing long pants though. That is true. So yeah. are you. I am now. <laughs> I can't wear shorts in the summer. This man freezes me out of the house. But I am going to get started. I am making out of the Staub cookbook, which, yes, I am this obsessed with this cookbook. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be making the whole roasted cauliflower with herbed breadcrumbs. Oh that gosh. looks so good. And if I have good luck with this, <laughs> I'm going to also try the Kung Pao cauliflower. That sounds really interesting. So, good. so hopefully these will keep us relatively healthy, but a little bit of fun. So I think for the kids, we've got, you've got the fresh dough for the kids, right? Yeah, fresh dough, I got a mozzarella, I got a pepperoni. Yeah, They're I think good. it's nice to do that for the kids and then we also get some veggies in them too. So we usually try a couple recipes at a time just in case something doesn't turn yeah. out. Yeah. But so far, we've had such good luck lately, I don't think we've had a bad recipe yet. We have not. Yeah, so we're so. gonna see if we can keep on our winning streak. We're gonna get unpacked. Did you have an aperitif for us? I do, I have an aperitif. Ooh, okay, cool. So I'll let you make our little drink and okay. um, we can unpack and then we'll get going. Okay, sounds great. Okay. Ooh, you got my favorite crackers. I did, I got a bunch of them. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, three boxes, I believe. I almost shouldn't say anything. I'm afraid they'll be sold out. <laughs> These are my favorite, oh. the black sesame seed. These are so, so good. good. This drink's called an afternoon in the park, and I just think, oh, that's like the perfect drink for right now, because it's, I don't know, I just think about like walking around through the park in the woods. I'm just gonna pour that in there. Just pour lemon juice in. We're gonna do two dashes of aromatic bitters. Just add some nice flavor to that, and then just a little bit. We don't do simple syrup for some reason. I prefer the agave. You don't have to use as much, because it's a little bit thicker, but I like the way it tastes, so I'm putting some agave in there. And that is it. So then you put everything in the cocktail shaker and you shake it. It's my favorite part. I always feel like Tom Cruise. So just straining it out. We didn't make very much. No, I thought we would share it first. Make sure we, <laughs> make sure we <laughs> like it. Not much confidence? No, not in this one. All right, afternoon in the park. Yes. A little aperitif. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's great. Wow. Oh, that is really good. That seriously tastes like we're like in a nice fancy bar. Oh my Jack, gosh. This was a great recipe. That is a really good recipe. <laughs> I, I might need a little more I mean, of that. <laughs> you may see a look of shock on the face, but yes, I'm, I'm shocked in my own abilities. I am too. <laughs> Tasted a lot of your drinks. <laughs> yeah. Normally I'm more like a gin and tonic guy because there's one real ingredient. No, this is great. So we'll make sure to leave the recipe down below and uh, I'm just about ready to show them the food. Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. This is actually really good. Mm -hmm. That's super good. You kidding? It's got whiskey in it too. Well, I, while he has been busy doing that, I have been Ooh. busy making our cauliflower. Here, why don't you show them up a little closer? All right. I actually whipped up a vegan ranch as well to go with it. Are you and serious? It, yeah. You yeah. just whipped that up? Yeah, it's got like a mayonnaise and you just used all vegan ingredients. But yeah, then that actually, Instead of doing the whole cauliflower, I actually chopped it up, which made this way faster. Otherwise, I think we would have been here still waiting on it. But yeah, because it yeah. took like an hour if it was whole head. It was gonna be an hour and a half. Whoa. This took less than 30 minutes. So, I love that recipe. This is it's awesome. Delicious. It looks so yeah. good. Oh, I am a sucker for Kung Pao. He has always loved Kung Pao, so now I have made you Kung Pao cauliflower. Look at that. Yeah, I think it's actually like, and it's I, really yummy. I did sneak a piece a minute ago what? when you left the room. Oh, and did you like it? It was amazing. Yeah, I tried a, a bit of the, the oh bread and Oh my gosh, one too. I love anything with Kung Pao and the nuts, and oh my gosh, this was really good. So there you go. So we are gonna clean up, 
maybe make one more drink before we do that. We may have to. And uh, yeah, we're gonna sit down at the table. In fact, let me show you what I did over the table while he finishes oh, it looks cleaning so over good. here. Okay, so over here, I'm like, oh, what have the kids done? Oh, it's relatively clean back there. <laughs> if you have kids, you know what it's like. It's like, how did that get there? I don't know, but I've got the table set and I got these napkins actually from Amazon and I'm so excited because I've owned these napkins. I've got them in two other colors. I have them in the gray and the flax color and I thought that the little army green would be really pretty on the table and I love this. I've got the West Elm plates that you keep seeing us use over and over on just a basic pottery barn there. I've got black, black, black flatware, which I just think is the best. And of course I've got the rimmed glassware. I just think it looks really, it's just a fun mix. I think, I think it's a fun mix to use something that's kind of raw, something that's really rustic. The little napkin rings were also from Amazon. So it doesn't have to be anything extraordinary. You just grab what you've got, mix things up a little bit. And then I've just put out the pottery barn base, the Quinn that I talk about probably 10 times a week. And I've got it filled up with some greenery from the grocery store. And I've managed to not eat all the pears and actually have a couple of them sitting out in the little pot that's supposed to be for outdoors, but I love using it inside to put pears and fruits and stuff in. So it looks really nice on the table. And I think our children are probably starving by now. So we're gonna call them down and have a family dinner and have a great weekend. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoy hanging out with us on the vlog days. I think it's just fun that we have something a little bit different and I hope you feel that way too. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.